playing against UCLA, does that have any allure for you then growing up in, in Southern California? Yeah, um, different if we were going to Pasadena and playing it. Uh, probably um, Rose Bowl and the Coliseum is one of the funnest places to play for me personally, just because, you know, that's where you grew up watching games and seeing all the big time players, Reggie Bush, uh, Jones, Drew, all those guys, you know, so um, the team isn't really. I don't doesn't really add too much to me. You know, it's just another game that we got to focus on. But um, that's about it. Yeah. They, uh, you guys haven't played. Haven't seen them since the Pac-12 title game a couple of years ago. Right. New coach, new quarterback. Since then, is it almost like playing a non-conference game since you're playing a team that you don't know personally? I guess that you haven't played on the field. Every other team you played in the Pac-12 this year, you played last year. U.S. Well, before I answer, like, I don't really understand. What's the, what do you mean, like, the difference between like, non-conference and conference? Well, just, like, not knowing the team. I mean, I, I don't mean non-conference is in. It doesn't matter. Um, but, like, you just have to go off tape for everything, and you don't have personal experience playing against these guys. Where last week, you guys played Washington State last year. Okay. Played Keith Price before, obviously. Um, or is it not? I mean, or do you, you not notice the difference when you're going up? Because that, that sounds like it's something that you haven't even thought about. Yeah, I never really thought about that. Um, I feel like even though you may have played a team or a certain player the year before, I think things always change the next year. Um, guys always improve, and they always want to, you know, go a little bit harder the next year. Um, so, I don't know, it's not something I really thought about. I think it's just it's another game we got to get through, got to work hard for. Brett Hundley, uh, what, what, do you, what do you see to him? Again, obviously we watched him on tape. Um, what stands out? I think he's really good in the pocket. Um, I was watching that Stanford game, and, like, First half, they could have like three sacks, guys coming unblocked, but he's just so shifty. He just gets out of the way of the sack and then makes a play. So um, all practice, all weekend practice, I just kind of been trying to focus on just when I come hot off the edge, I gotta hunker down and still make a tackle because um, I know this guy's he's great at making people miss and he's sending the play. So I just have to be disciplined in my technique. Yeah, how do you how do you handle that as a, as a rusher, as a guy? I mean, your primary goal in a lot of places is to sack the quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you deal with a guy who's maybe going to be a little more difficult, a little more shifty, instead of someone who you know he, if you get to him, if you're coming at him, he's not going to get out of the way? I think it's just about being disciplined, doing your job. Um, I have to take the proper angles. Um, I know I, I know where the other people on the field are going to be, so if I do come, I have to flush them to him, and I can't flush them in open space. So, I mean, um, like I said, I just got to just do my job. can't be doing too much, and that's what happens a lot of the time. You uh, had a sack last week. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel like your your season's gone and, and it's progressing? Is Wayne doing that? Honestly, I just feel like I don't really know. I just feel like I'm just doing all I can to help out this team. Um, it's not really about individual effort for me. As long as we just keep this W, keep getting Ws every weekend, um, that's just my, that's just my goal. I was talking to Brian about this. Coach Aliotti got fined mm-hmm. for his rant after the game. Um, did you see that? And and when you know Nick's a guy. He, yeah, unique, unique, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, what, what what is it like playing for a coach like that? He's he's a perfectionist, so um, a lot of the time you will do a good job, but he always looks for that extra set. Like for example, you were just talking about that sack I got last weekend. He was he was kind of on my case because I didn't try to strip the ball from him, you know. And, I mean, and he's right though. You gotta if you want to be a great team, you have to do those extra little things that most people don't think about. So um, he wants everything to be perfect. He wants everything to to look right all the time. So. Um, you just got to go out and just try to fix everything and just keep getting better. Did you see what he said? Did you watch the video? I didn't see the video, but I've, I've heard. And I've heard about the fines and all that. But, I mean, Coach Al is Coach Al. He speaks his mind. He's a very passionate guy, very emotional guy. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's awesome. It's great. Um, <laughs> awesome. They're starting three true freshmen, UCLA. Or they might. I guess they're going to start two, and they might start a third, depending mm-hmm. on an injury, on the offensive line specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys try to try to rattle those guys early and you try to attack them more because they're inexperienced? I don't think we try to attack them more. We just got to attack in general. That's, what, that's, our, um, that's our mode of operation. Just work hard with the guy in front of you. It doesn't matter if the guy's a freshman, uh, veteran, senior, it doesn't matter. We got to come out with the same mentality. Um, these guys are definitely aren't, I mean, they're going to come out ready to work. So, I mean, they're not going to feel sorry for us, so we're not going to feel sorry for them. We're just going to go out and play. I was talking to Brian about walking around campus um, during a game day week and if he noticed any difference. And he kind of went on talking about how whether or not people recognize him and if people are talking about football and they're like kind of hushed up when he walks by. Do you get recognized when you walk around campus? Do people know that, that you're a football player? I don't think so. 
um, but at the same time, I'm kind of in my own zone on campus. I ride my bike to school, and I always have headphones in, so I'm kind of just like, you know, tunnel vision, just get from my house to, to class, and I don't really pay much attention. I get all these texts always like, oh, you rode right by me, didn't even say anything to me, like my friends, but I mean, I tell them, so I'm just, I don't know, I'm just kind of in the zone. Do you like going, you like going incognito, or do you want to get recognized all the nah, time when people come up to you? That's not me. I'm kind of just low-key, just, you know, just in the cut. Yeah.